Yeah. Good day, everyone. My name is Dr. Abiola Olushego. I'm a herbal medicine practitioner. You know, as we have always discussed about different kind of ailments. So I'm here today to discuss briefly on kidney. You know, especially when you are developing kidney problems. I want to discuss about the symptoms, the causes, the food you should avoid in order to prevent kidney disease, in order to, 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 to prevent any kind of kidney problem. And, you know, many people are ignorant of anything that can cause kidney kidney problem and that is why i want to discuss with us but briefly on kidney problems some people are already having these symptoms but they don't know that it has to do with their kidney so when you feel when you're already going through the symptoms when you're already feeling the symptoms i'm going to be mentioning it is better for you to go for checkup to be sure, even if it is not kidney problem, it is better for you to go for checkup, to go for diagnosis when you're already feeling all those symptoms. It might not be everything you'll be feeling at the same time, but you know, but when you know that you're feeling like three, four, five out of the symptoms, please go for diagnosis. And if you already develop, because some people have the kidney problem, but they don't know the actual cause of the kidney problem. They don't know how to prevent it, so as in how to manage it. So that's why I'm going to be discussing with us. But I'm going to start with the symptoms of kidney problems. You know, kidney, kidney. You know, we have two kidneys. The kidneys are the two being shaped organs in the renal system. So the symptoms of kidney problems are fatigue. You know, when you're being tired all the time, feeling cold when others are feeling warm. When others are warm, you're feeling cold. When you have shortness of breath, even after very little effort. When you're feeling faint, you're feeling dizzy, you're feeling weak, you have trouble thinking clearly. You're feeling very itchy. You know, it is a kidney that removes waste from bloodstream. So when the kidney fails, the buildup of waste in your blood can cause severe itching. And when you when when you when you are they, they swelling in your hands, in your legs, in your ankle, in your feet, you no know, failing kidneys don't remove extra fluids, and the fluids build up in your body. That is why you feel the swelling in your hand, in your in your legs, in your ankle, in your feet. Then. When you have swollen or puffy face, then another one is when when food tastes like metal, you know, a buildup of waste in the blood called uremia can make food taste different and it can cause bad breath. You may also notice that you stop liking to eat meat or that you, you, you're, you're losing weight because you don't just feel like eating. And there is another one that is ammonia breath. Upset stomach, nausea, vomiting. These are all symptoms of kidney disease. And getting up during the night to make urine. If I can say, this is the, 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 the most common symptom that happens first. To know that, in order for you to know that your kidney actually have a, a, a problem. So when you get up during the night to make urine, you know it is the kidney that make urine. So when the kidneys are failing, the urine may change. As, and, and, and when the kidneys are failing, you know, the urine may change how. It may urinate more often or greater amounts than usual with pale urine. Then you may feel pressure or have difficult urinating. Then when you urinate, if your urine is foamy or it has bubbles, you know that you have kidney problem because this can, this can lead to an above normal amount of protein in the urine. 
then when you have brown red or purple urine you, know, you may urinate less of the smaller amounts than usual with dark colored urine and the urine may contain blood so now let's move on to the causes of kidney problems number one is loss of blood flow to the kidneys when there is when there is no blood flow to the kidneys you no know, a sudden loss of blood flow to the kidney can prompt kidney failure and there are some some diseases and conditions that can cause loss of blood flow to the kidney and this includes heart attack an allergic reaction a severe burn a heart disease scarring of the liver and liver failure and you know when you have high blood pressure when you when you take much of anti-inflammatory medication you know these are the these are the diseases they are conditions that can cause loss of blood flow to the urine so when you know that you're you're having issues with your blood pressure you know you're having issues with your life please take care of yourself on time don't wait until the disease is chronic before you take care of yourself that is why it's always good to, to go for checkup even if it is just three times in a year go for a proper checkup check every organs in your body if they are functioning properly you know there are some anti-inflammatory drugs that they are not they are not to be taken for a long period of time so avoid all this in order to, to prevent loss of blood flow to the kidney and you know our kidneys our kidneys have some certain great functions you know they help the body pass waste as urine they also help to to filter blood before sending it back to the heart the, ki the kidneys maintain overall fluid balance they regulate ph they produce hormones you know they excrete waste and toxin so if if the kidney is begins to fail if the kidney begins to fail you know look at all those functions that I have mentioned i said our kidney pass um waste as urine if your kidney fails how do you want to pass out urine i said if it has blood before sending it back to the heart if the kidney fails the heart will fail i said it maintains overall fluid balance if the kidney fails it will not be able to maintain the fluid balance the fluid will not balance that is why you have swollen legs swollen feet swollen face you know, swollen ankles you know it won't be able to regulate pH when the kidney fails your hormones will not be balanced you won't be able to pass out waste and toxins from the body and that is why you must take care of your kidney take proper care of your kidney then another cause of kidney problem is urine elimination problems you know when your body can't eliminate urine the toxins build up and overload the kidneys some cancers can also block the urine passage like prostate cancer you know this is actually common in men colon cervical cancer bladder cancer blood clots and large prostate kidney stones when you have all this there will be urine elimination problem then another one is an overload of toxins from heavy metals uncontrolled diabetes certain antibiotics drug and alcohol so these are the things these are the causes of kidney problems so this is to tell you dear sir man that there is nobody that is above kidney problems because we are consuming what we damage our kidney every day we don't take balanced diet we don't eat 
on time. Our stress is too much. We overload the kidneys, you know. It is every day we, con we consume too much of fatty foods. We consume too much of energy drinks, sodas. We don't take balanced diet. We take too much of salt. Some people even after cooking, you know, when they are eating, they say the food is not sweet enough. They add more salt, more table salt. The same table salt that you used in cooking that will still affect your kidney. Then you now put it raw in the food. You are damaging your kidney. When you don't eat on time, when you don't take balanced diets, when you have indigestion, you are damaging your kidney. Please take good care of your kidney. You know, your lifetime matters. What you take in matters. Eat much of fruits and vegetables. You know, even when we have, we have introduced our children to eat, to, 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 to this kidney problem, you know, we give them bobo, we give them sweets, biscuits, you know, different kinds of drinks that we give our children instead of fruits and vegetables. I usually tell people it is better to give a child fruit and vegetable. Let them get used to it. And mind you, kidney problem doesn't discriminate. There are lots of children that are suffering from it. So you can see we are losing the battle. So please protect your kidney. And there are some certain foods that damage the kidneys. Like red meat, table salt, artificial sweetness, energy drinks and sodas. Too much of coffee, dairy products, I mean, too much of calcium, excessive alcohol. All these foods damage your kidneys. So eat a balanced diet, avoid red meat, avoid table salt, use sea salt instead or Himalayan salt. Avoid artificial sweetness. Avoid spices energy drinks sodas avoid them avoid too much of coffee avoid too much of alcohol protect yourself health is the greatest wealth and your health is supreme so if you have further inquiries or you have questions Concerning what we have discussed or any other hail mates, you can you can reach us on 081-0460-7130. You can also speak with a doctor if you have any issues, any ailments you're going through. You want to know how to, to manage your ailment, you want to know how to take care of yourself, you know how you want to know how to go about your lifestyle, you can call that number. To speak with a doctor or you visit us at number 51 Abiodun Oshudia Street, Meron Agbadoja, Lagos, close to Abulegba. And please don't forget to like and share this lecture because you know there are so many people that are going through this ailment, you know, but because they are ignorant of the ailment, and there are some people that are uh, already, you know. They are, they are doing things that, that can actually cause this ailment because they are ignorant of it. That is why I always request you share the lecture so that people that are unable to watch it through our own page can actually watch it through your own. You know, you may be helping someone out. So, and don't forget... You can, you can also follow us on our other social media platforms on um, Instagram, mbholistic underscore care. On, um, we're also on YouTube. We'll paste um, the link so you can follow us on our YouTube channel. Then you can also follow us on Twitter at mbk. Bye for now. My name once again is Dr. Abiola Olushegu. See you next time.